we on? All right, Shalom. First and foremost, we're going to give all praises, honor, and glory to Yahweh, Ba'ashem, Yahushai, Ba'ashem, Rakakwadash. Double honor to the apostles and elders of Great Millstone, who we learned the truth from. Peace and blessings to the to the elect men, you know, uh, pushing the sound doctrine throughout the four corners of the earth in the truth and sincerity. Okay, remaining steadfast in the faith, uh, you know, not wavering regardless to any of the wicked imaginations that come up against them. All right, we just, uh, you know, a few brothers out here, we... Headed to headed to the battlefield, man. We are gonna do a quick and train. I'm the brother of Walker Bar. Brother Kanak. It's the brother Shemayim. Yeah, and uh, we just gonna jump right into the precepts. Uh, whatever you got, Shemayim. Right, uh, this is uh, Zephaniah, chapter two, verse three. Seek ye the Lord, all ye meek of the earth, which have wrought His judgment. Seek righteousness. Seek meekness. It may be ye shall be hid. Yeah, seek. Read again from the top. Alright, this is Zephaniah chapter 2 and 3. Mm -hmm. Seek ye the Lord, all ye meek of the earth. Yeah, seek ye the Lord, all ye meek of the earth. Okay? Because that's the state you're supposed to be. You're supposed to be meek. You're supposed to be humble. Which this world does, does not teach you, you know? The, they, man, uh, the proud, can't, can't, they're not going to seek the Lord, you know? They think everything is of themselves. Alright? But they're going to see in this time to come, man. Hey man, you you gonna you gonna need a higher power, man. Continue. Which have brought his judgment. Mm -hmm. Seek righteousness, seek meekness. It may be ye shall be hid. And seek righteousness, seek me seek meekness, that you may be hid. Hear from what? Hear from the destruction that's coming. Continue. In the day of the Lord's anger. In the day of the Lord's anger, and we're coming into that time, the time of a, of Jacob's trouble. Okay. Get this uh in um Psalms 91. You got more in that, huh? No, that's it on that one. I got a quick precept. Okay, this is Matthew 5 and 5. It says, Blessed are the meek, for they shall inherit the earth. Yeah, blessed are the meek, for they shall inherit the earth. Alright, the kingdom of heaven belongs to the meek. Alright? Those who are in the in the, in the meek spirit. Alright? Because what we looked at is it's low right now, you know. But the most high, he's actually raising us up now. That's why you see, uh, that's why you see the, uh, these people, man, everybody's in the, in the through state, you know, everybody, you know, their, their countenance is all defeated, okay, he saw a good cut, too. Yeah. you know, hey, uh, oh, this thing. Well, while we're in the, uh, you know, we're in the spirit, we're being quickened, you know, the meek are, you got more, uh, I was gonna try to get the definition for the word meek, uh -huh. and the blue letter I'm trying to get is, it's kind of bugging out, right, I, I, I get it for you, it's Matthew 5 and 5, got it. That's yes, right, because the, the humble of the earth, the lowly of the earth, are going to receive the kingdom of heaven. All right, we have been totally humbled as a people, but Jake, as a whole, does not does not consider that. But we we have we have understood what, why the Lord put us in this position, and now we are uh, we are being humble to the Lord's order of things, and that's why we uh, we we got put out of we got put out of the land, man. Being proud, why well, I, I haven't. So, uh, I think the word. Let me see if I can play the word. It's not playing, but okay. go ahead. You got it. Yeah, so. no, I didn't yeah I think. Jerome's G forty two thirty nine. Prouse. 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 It. He go and reach that. entry. Prowls. Uh, it says, yep. mildness of disposition, gentleness of spirit, meekness. Yep. And the scriptures talk about uh, about being uh, uh, harmless, being wise as a serpent, and harmless as a dove. Yep. Also, it talks about if all possible, live peaceable with all men. That's that's being meek because we know we know the prophecy. We know that we are going to receive. A great kingdom. We know that all these nations are under us. That's part of our inheritance. But what comes the discipline and that meekness is knowing that and still submitting to the will of Yahweh Shai. And that's ruling your spirit. Okay, you know that's right. It's not contrary to everybody else's belief that uh, we are not in control of ourselves. You know, it's, it's the Lord that has uh, control over our thoughts. You know, over our actions. All right, so. We have to uh, uh, come to the Heavenly Father and, and 
meekness, all right, and, and in humility, so the Lord can have mercy on us. Uh, I want to pull up the uh, precept. This is Ecclesiastes 8 and 8. It says, There is no man that hath power over the spirit to retain the spirit, neither hath he power in the day of death. And there is no discharge in that war, neither shall wickedness deliver those that are given to it. Yeah, so if you don't have power, then that that, that's, that means that you have to be humble, man. You have to be of a, 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 a mildness and disposition of spirit. Okay, you can't be you can't be proud, man. Yeah, let's get that uh, Sirach ten. Yeah, yeah, that was going yep. there. Oh, the Again. spirit. Yep. Uh, you, you want you want to begin the project? We want to depart from the Most High, or probably the same from before. Bro, you can just yeah, whatever you want to. Yeah, yeah, through the spirit. This is uh, Sirach ten. And uh, we get both of them. Yep, yep. yep. 10 and 7 it says pride is hateful before the most high and man yeah pride is hateful before the most high and man all right because if you if you're proud and lifted up all right uh, uh then, then not only is the lord going to hate you all right but but you know men that are around you are going to hate you man yeah, it'll get you killed that's right uh, you know it'll get you killed uh you know uh, a, a man will want to keep you from being proud but, but you know ultimately the issues of death come from the heavenly father you know, and the scriptures say pride comes before the, uh, destruction and the haughty spirit before fall. Mm -hmm. All right. That's why Esau is going down, man. And everybody in Babylon right along with him. Yes, yeah, so mind get up uh, Isaiah 13 and 11. But go ahead. Yep, yep. It says <clears throat> pride is safer before the most high and man and by and by both the one commit iniquity. All right. And I'm going to jump down here to uh, verse 12. So right 10 and 12. The beginning of pride is when one departed from Yahweh by Shem Yahweh Shai. All right, and his and his heart, and his heart is turned away from his maker. All right, so that's the beginning of, of, of pride, man. All right, you depart. The Most High ain't dealing with no pride, man. He's gonna cast you off. That's why, and that's why a lot of God get cast off, man. You know, cause they knowledge puffed them up, man. You know, and here now here it is, man. They think they're bigger than what they are. They ain't got too big for their britches, you know, so to speak. Yeah, yeah or or they have pride to 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 believe that, not to believe that a man. Can tell them what to do in the body. Yeah, you know they're too proud for that. Or oh, I'm too proud for somebody to for tell order. them for order. When you man, you got it. Hey man, because America, see that's that's a demon. That's an actual demon. Because America teaches you that oh a, a man or a man stand oh I'm gonna stand on my two feet and I'm gonna do whatever the hell I want to do. All right now a man is being in order because even Yahweh Shai was in order under his father. Right. You see that? And then the Lord He set up an order. So there's always an order in things, man. Yeah. Because with order comes uh, with with order comes uh, uh, harmony, and with disorder comes chaos. And the Lord is a man. The Lord is a God of order. Okay, He said, "Do everything that's decently that. in, in order." That's the spirit. Go ahead. First Corinthians fourteen and forty. Let all things be done decently and in order. Yep. Can you can you go up? Can you go up to the other the uh, thirty uh, where it says? Uh, <clears throat> Any may be ignorant. Uh, thirty two, I believe. Oh, thirty two. Okay. What's 32 say? Spirits of the prophets. Uh, go down 32. Let me see. Confusing? Oh, yeah, 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 yeah. All 32. Yeah. The First Corinthians 14 and 33 says, For the Most High is not the author of confusion, but of peace, as in all churches of the saints. Yeah, in peace. And, uh, now, he's not the author of confusion. So that's why he, he wants order. And it's, and it's, and it's very, it's very uh, important to be in order, man. And that's if right. you're not, that means you have, pri you have pride because you think you got it. When your ass, you, you your ass can't stop yourself from getting put to death. Yeah. Your ass can't, you, your, your ass can't uh, 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 um, do anything in this world. Fuck outs, man. Yeah, you didn't come up on this knowledge by yourself, you know. Yeah, exactly. The Lord, I was trying to didn't deal with you directly like he did Paul, you know. You learn, you learn from men. Yep. And that order, it also comes from, uh, you know, from your your household and, and your own personal situation. Yeah. And I got a quick precept. It's uh. First Timothy chapter three, uh, verse five. It says, "For if a man know not how to rule his own house, how shall he take care of the church of the Most High?" Hey man, that's the spirit, man. All right, if you ain't, if you if you ain't um, ruling your own house, man, you know, like what your um your, your, your diet is off, man. Okay, you're not uh you, you're not applying yourself, 
you know, uh, physically, you know, working out or keeping yourself in good condition. You eating all fucked up. You know, <clears throat> you don't, you're not working. All right. You know, you ain't got your house in, in set your house in order at all, man. You know, so how you gonna hit the highways and hedges and curse somebody else out? You know, how you how you gonna be over the church, man? You know, how you gonna say anything about in, in, anyone else, man? Uh, I got a precept. Let me get this in uh in uh second interest. Just second, you have more now. Or was that it? No, that was it on that. Second Nicholas 14 and 13, it says, Now therefore set thine house in order and reprove thy people. Comfort such of them as comfort such of them as be in trouble and now renounce corruption. I'll break it down up. Uh, can you read that one more time? It says, Now therefore set thine house in order and reprove thy people. Kind. It says set thy house in order, man. Meaning get your get your own situation straight through the spirit. You get your shit together, man. Yep. So, so uh, the Lord, you know, he, he can take you to that next level, all right? So, you, so he can give you more responsibilities, all right? And, and you can uh, further uh, add on to the, the body of Yahweh Wash, Yahweh Shai, you know? You can add on to the to the church, all right? Because you have your, your life in order, all right? So, therefore, the Lord can give you more responsibilities, all right? To, so, so you can help further set the church in order, all right? Yeah, because you'll be a hypocrite if you're telling Jake to do certain things and you ain't even got your shit together, man. Time. You know, that's not what it's about. It's about setting your own house in order, which goes uh, uh, with, with, your, with your own situation, man. You know, not being slothful in business. That's right. Okay. Yeah, I got a, a quick precept behind that. Uh, uh, Matt, St. Matthew 7 and 3, it says, uh, and and why and why beholdest thou the mote that is in thy brother's eye, mm -hmm. but considerest not the beam that is in thy own eye? Yeah, you got you got you got big shit that you got to deal with, okay? And you talking about a a a, a moat which is smaller than a beam, uh, okay? You you're ju you're judging you're judging other men when when you you're not even looking you're not even self examination you don't even uh, implement self examination like the scriptures talk about to see whether you're in the faith. So you being a goddamn hypocrite, man. You you out on the highways and the hedges. You over here preaching to men, telling them they need to get their house in order. Telling telling Jake he's out of order. When you ain't even got your shit in order, man. The most I ain't playing, man. The most I ain't playing with you niggas. The most I ain't playing with you false prophets. You you prophets that are a uh, uh, slothful. Lord, Lord gonna send surgical strikes. He got deaf angels right around the corner, right ar really right around hovering around you, man. Preparing preparing you for blood, like. Like the Lord preparing Esau for blood, he preparing you you weak you weak minded niggas for blood too, man. Yeah, y'all gotta get it first according to first Peter the fourth yep, chapter. Yep, that's right. The judgment must start at the house of the most high. So you 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 with a guy, that that guy might get put to death. Okay? So you 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 better you better be serious in this thing. Yep. Yeah, because you gotta lead by example. You know? Like how was shy when he was on the earth, he he led by example. You know that others should follow him. All right. Now the scriptures say, "Mark the perfect man." So you got brothers that's over you. You got the elders that's over you. All right. So you supposed to be uh, uh, following in, in in their footsteps, according to in in lining yourself up to the scriptures, so you can lead by example. So you won't be saying, telling other people to do things that you're not doing. Yeah. And if you are a leader, man, you got to be doing what you telling other with with the um what you telling the, the brothers under you to do, man. Okay. And more. You, if you're, yeah. a, if you're in a leadership position, man, you got a heavy. And we're all leaders, really. Yeah, to whom much is given, much is required. Exactly. So even if you, if you're given the, uh, the understanding of this truth, you in, you in a heavy lot. Yep. Hey, but you know, there's different portions given to different men. So if you set up as a head, you know, as a leader, all right, you got to go hard. You know, you got to be on fire, man. Yep. To, to, to keep that example. Look, look at our apostles. Kinda. Look at our elders. Look at our apostles, man. Look at the apostles, man. That's all you. That's all you gotta see, man. They got the spirit on them. Cause look, 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 look. If they were slothful, then what? That would. That wouldn't. That wouldn't. That wouldn't. Uh, a, a, that wouldn't be an admonishment to us. That wouldn't be an exhortation to us for us to be exempt. Here they are. They cursing Jake out. You need to do. You need to do that. And then they they doing a video once a week, or they don't even do videos, or they'll come out when they want to. Yeah. 
And that's why these other groups, that's why they, they're in the sphere that they're in because they're leadership. Because it's all it's all about your leadership, man. Because they set they set examples. It's all about management, man. They manage things. They make they make sure things are in order and they set standards. Yep. Okay. So if you're if you're not if you're not uh, 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 adhering to the standard, then what are you good for? You are a servant of no value, man. And with come with, with that is that you have to come into order, man. You have to you have to adhere to the order. Look, you gonna have to you always gotta answer to somebody. Yep. Even even my grandmother told me that how bugged out she was. Oh, you hate the white man, but you gotta listen to somebody. But that I'm like, yeah, that's true. That's true, man. Either you gonna listen to how about Shimao Shai? I see. And and, and 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 have life and come into order, or you gonna listen to Satan. And then he puts, and then then you then you gonna get caught out there, man. You destroy it. Okay. Cause Satan's all about disorder, but even within dealing with Satan, there comes an order. Okay. There's certain things you gotta do for this dude. Yeah. Okay. That's right. A quick precept. Go ahead. This is Romans chapter 12 and 10. It says, "Be kindly affectionate to one another with brotherly love, and honor, preferring one another." Not slothful in business, mm. fervent in spirit, serving the Lord. This is not slothful in business. All right? Not slothful in the Lord's business, man. All right? You got to be flipping your talents, man. All right? The Lord, when the Lord uh, returns, man, and he, want, he, <laughs> he wants more, man. You know? The Lord's about, about usury. Yep. And ultimately, what you're doing is you really, you know what I mean, Put, you know, putting uh, spiritual riches in your own bank account. It's for your own benefit. You know? Continue up. It says rejoice in hope, patient in tribulation, mm -hmm. continuing instant in prayer. You're continuing instant in prayer, man. All right? Because if you slothful, man, you got you better pray to the Lord to take that spirit off you, man. You know? You better pray to the Lord, man, for a for, uh, spiritual increase, man, to light that fire up under you, man. Okay? Because he got his men out here ex exhorting, the, exhorting the body. All right? But hey, brothers ain't, ain't, ain't taking heed, man. And the judgment is coming it's, it's quickly. Quick precept for you. Mm -hmm. This is John chapter 3 and 3. Yahweh Shai answered and said unto him, Verily, verily, I say unto thee, except a man be born again, he cannot see the kingdom of the Most High. Yeah, you got to be born again, man. And desire the sincere milk of the scriptures that you may, um, sincere milk of the scriptures that you may grow thereby. Come on, because this world, when we was in the world, it, it taught us to be slothful. Or it, it taught us to be niggas, you know. But we have to put off that weak, that weak spirit. You yeah, taught us hey, can't nobody judge you, you know. Only God can judge me. Yeah, you dumb yeah, nigga. So-called white man throw your ass in jail, quick. Yeah, throw away the key. Yeah. You judge. You you have to judge. I mean, you have to judge every single. You got to judge uh, uh character, man. Yeah. Okay. You you got to judge everything, man. You got to judge when um you go across the street. You can't just. Oh, I'm just call. You gonna get your ass ran over? So that's that's a bugged out doctor. That's yeah. the doctrine of Satan. Yeah, it's the doctrine of this yeah, that's world. A, yeah, that's yeah, that's it. That's the doctrine of this world. That's a that's a satanic doctrine. Okay. Uh, you, got, you got more out? If that was it, brother, we can we you know yeah, we can wrap it up. Hit the highways and hit it. Okay. Yep. Yeah. That's it on that. Yeah, yeah, man. So uh, we're gonna you know we're gonna hit hit the highways and hit this man. You know, just a quick uh just a quick lesson. You know Yahweh Rath Zah was there to find man. We're gonna give all praise, honor, and glory to Yahweh Bashem, Yahweh Shai, Bashem, Rakakwadash. Double honors to the apostles and elders of Great Millstone. Peace and blessings to the elect. Shalom. Shalom. Shalom.